Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream or record Rocksmith using Reaper and OBS. First, we download Reaper. Then we install Reaper and install Rear Root as your driver. Then we need to download Reaplux via SDFX Suite and install it. After the installation, we download RS Azure from the link in the description. Open the RAR file and copy all to Rocksmith 2014 directory. Open RS Azure config with Notepad. Change buffer size mode to custom. Set your desired buffer size. Change all the Azure inputs and outputs to rear root Azure. Save the file and launch Reaper. Go to Preferences and set your audio interface as your SEO driver. And now we add two new tracks, one named Rocksmith and the other one named Guitar. Record on the Rocksmith track and set the input to Stereo, Rear Root 1 and Rear Root 2. Record on the Guitar track and set the input to Mono and then select the input that you connect your guitar to. If your Reaper looks different, don't forget to change the theme to default. Click the root button on the Rocksmith channel. Add a new hardware output and set it to rear root 3 and rear root 4. Repeat the same steps for the guitar channel, but this time choose rear root 1 and rear root 2. And don't forget to uncheck the master send. Now we click the master effects channel. We search for the Rear Stream plugin and add it to Master Effects. From the plugin settings, we select Send Audio, and from the drop down menu, we find and select Local Broadcast. Now we can save our Reaper project. After that, we go to the Control Panel and find the Sound Panel. From there, we are going to enable Stereo Mix. Don't forget to set everything to 48,000 Hz. Launch OBS and add an audio input capture. Right click and select properties, then from the drop down menu select Stereo Mix. Now we right click it again and select filters via the VSD plugin and select Rear Stream from the list. Open the plugin interface and set it to receive audio. If you encounter crackling sounds while recording or streaming, change the identifier from default to any number on both ends. And that's the end of the tutorial. You should now be ready to go.